Hey guys and welcome back. In today's video we're going to be touching on six matchups in college basketball and who we like as the better bet against the spread. This is going to be for March 2nd, 2017. If you're interested in what six games we're going to be talking about, I'll throw those down in the video description. And also if you're interested in getting our daily free pick, you can head on over to our main website, stumpthespread.com, and you can access that down in the video description as well. And you can also click on the logo in the top right-hand corner of this video to get over to Stump the Spread as well. Really excited as we head into March Madness. Conference tournaments getting underway and the big dance just around the corner. So a lot of great college basketball matchups that we're going to be getting over the next month. And it's just a really exciting time for college basketball fans. So heading right into it here. Uh, we have first matchup that I want to touch on. It's over in Conference USA between Rice and Marshall. And if you want more of this pick video content in the future, you can click that subscribe button. And any thumbs up are greatly appreciated and really help us out. So heading into this matchup here, we have two squads that have had their fair share of success in Conference USA this year. Uh, Rice really taking advantage of, you know, a somewhat more manageable schedule in the second half of conference play for them. And they've um, definitely been taking care of business on their home court as of late. Going on the road today against a Marshall squad who hasn't been quite as consistent as we were expecting them to be coming into uh, Conference USA action, especially with how Marshall was looking down the stretch back during the non-conference. Uh, this is a team that, when playing up to their ceiling, has shown some really impressive results. For instance, back at the or towards the end of the non-conference, Marshall went on the road and pushed Cincinnati right to the end, losing that one by just one basket. And then also, right after that, going on the road against Pittsburgh and pushing that one into overtime, it was another very competitive game. We haven't seen that particular version of Marshall quite as often in Conference USA, but still a team that has a very high ceiling. Uh, these are two teams that can both potentially make a run in the Conference USA tournament. Um, you know, there's probably about six or seven teams in Conference USA that could legitimately make a run to their conference tournament title and get that at-large bid. But uh, only one team in the conference this year really has a decent shot at getting an at-large bid if they don't win, and that would be Middle Tennessee State. Uh, coming to this one, Marshall, they've been pretty solid on their home court and, you know, really building their success on the offensive side of the ball this year, ranking in the top 10 in the nation in scoring average. Rice is also a pretty high-octane offensive squad, ranking uh, in the top 25 in the nation in scoring average. And we actually think this plays into Marshall's favor. Uh, Marshall has had their issues with uh, offensive consistency going against some of the better defensive teams in the conference, but Rice definitely is not one of the better defensive teams in Conference USA, and we really feel like the Thundering Herd can take advantage. So on their home court today, we're going to go ahead and side with Marshall to go on to win and cover this manageable spread. Moving on down here, a uh, matchup over in the Sun Belt between Texas Arlington and Louisiana Monroe. Earlier in conference play on their home court, UT Arlington was able to get past Louisiana Monroe by 15 points. And really winning by double digits is something UT Arlington has been uh, been growing accustomed to in conference play. Picking up each of the last three wins by double digits. And, you know, coming into the year, Texas Arlington was a popular pick to win the Sunbelt regular season title. Looks like they're going to be able to do that. And, you know... Sunbelt probably not going to get an at-large team into the NCAA tournament this year, but if there is one team that has a chance, it would be Texas Arlington. And to have any kind of chance at that, this group would probably need to win out uh, through the rest of the regular season and then make a very strong push in the Sunbelt postseason tournament. But even then, uh, UT Arlington's probably going to still need to win their conference tournament to get into the big dance. Uh, UT Arlington, like I said, veteran group, brought back a lot of experience this year. And, you know, when this team has been able to play up to that ceiling, they've actually been really impressive. Uh, one game that I really remember quite vividly was back during the non-conference, Texas Arlington went on the road to St. Mary's and just completely blew St. Mary's off of their own court, and the Gales, the Gales really do have a strong home court advantage over there. So uh, Texas Arlington has been showing that they can get the job done on the road and in the Sun Belt. It's been a really strong year for the Sun Belt overall. This is a conference that has a pretty solid depth, and uh, kind of like Conference USA, probably – about six or so teams that could really have a decent shot at making a push in that Sun Belt Conference tournament to try to get that at, uh, automatic bid to the NCAA tournament. But coming to this one, Louisiana Monroe not having all that much success this year. Like I said, already falling to Texas Arlington by double digits earlier in conference play on the road. We feel like Texas Arlington, with how they've been performing, giving those eight points right now is going to be the better value bet against the spread, especially since Texas Arlington uh, planned to lock up that 
regular season conference title uh, as they look to maybe even make a play at an at-large bet. So we're going to go ahead and side with the road team here, giving the points as the better value play against the spread. Another matchup in the Sun Belt, we have Arkansas State against Troy. We've sided with this Troy squad actually quite a number of times this year, and they've definitely been coming through for us more often than not. Uh, Troy, they've done really well at competing on the road throughout the regular season. They haven't, you know, been as strong on their home court as you'd expect them at times, especially back during the earlier portion of action in the Sun Belt. But more recently, Troy has been doing a better job of defending their home court, picking up some uh, recent home wins in a fairly convincing fashion. Troy doesn't have a great home court advantage by any means, and that's probably going to be the case again today. But Arkansas heading Arkansas State heading out on the road. Uh, the Red Wolves currently standing above Troy in the conference. Uh, Arkansas State's another one of those teams that you never really know what you're get, going to get on a game-to-game -game basis. Sometimes they show really well, and then other times they just don't show up at all. It's going to be interesting to see what version of the Red Wolves we get today on the road. Behind their home court advantage, we feel like Troy should be able to continue their success that they've had on their home court recently as they go on to win and cover this very small spread. Right below that, we have a matchup over in the Pac-12 between Stanford and Colorado. Neither of these two teams really living up to their goals, especially Colorado. Coming into the year, many thought that Colorado would make a push to the NCAA tournament, especially given uh, you know all of the offensive talent they have. It just has never really worked out for Colorado this year. Uh, you know, through the first couple of months of the regular season, never, you know, finding their stride. They have been better as of late as we've gone down the stretch, uh, winning six of the last nine games in the Pac-12 and really playing some of their best ball of the year over the past month. And that's good news for Colorado as they try to maybe make a run come the Pac-12 tournament. But outside of that, really no chance for Colorado to make the NCAA tournament. Uh, then we have Stanford bringing in a new coaching staff this year and also bringing back quite a few veteran players. You know, some had high hopes for the Stanford squad, but they also haven't been able to live up to expectations. Um, you know, standing similar to Colorado right now in the Pac-12, but earlier in conference play, actually not all that long ago, about three weeks ago, Stanford on their home court did fall to Colorado uh, by, I believe it was seven points. Coming on the road today, Things expect to be even tougher here for the Cardinal. Uh, Colorado has actually been pretty solid on their home court in conference play. And behind their home court advantage, we do feel like Colorado should be able to go on to win and cover this moderate spread. All right, just a couple more games I want to touch on in today's video. Uh, heading down here over to the Big Sky, we have a matchup between Eastern Washington and Southern Utah. We've really liked this Eastern Washington squad. They have some of the top offensive uh, players in in the big sky uh, with a couple of their forwards. And another thing that we really like about this Eastern Washington squad is they're one of the best free throw shooting teams among the mid majors. And that can really help them uh, when going down the stretch in a lot of the competitive games that you can get over in the big sky. And another thing that can really help Eastern Washington come uh, postseason play as uh, we get really close to the big sky postseason tournament. Southern Utah having themselves another very challenging campaign and are no strangers to getting blown out earlier in conference play. Southern Utah went on the road to Eastern Washington, and they did fall on that one uh, by double figures. Going to be another tough matchup here for Southern Utah. Although uh, Southern Utah has been better this year than we saw to them last year, they still currently sit in last place in the conference. And, um, you know, just a program that's not – you know, able to turn things around over there in the big sky. And, you know, the turnaround doesn't seem to be anywhere on the horizon right now for Southern Utah. So we like Eastern Washington to come into this one. They still have, uh, you know, stuff to play for right now. So we're going to go ahead and side with Eastern Washington to go on to win and cover this about 9.5 to 10 point spread here as the better value bet. And one more matchup that I want to touch on. It's going to be a conference tournament game over in the MAAC between Niagara and Quinnipiac. Both of these teams have similar resumes this year in terms of their overall records, but during the regular season, Quinnipiac did go 2-0 and against Niagara. Uh, you know, both games were fairly competitive, but uh, Quinnipiac, they are one of the best rebounding teams in the MAAC, and they can really exploit that advantage, advantage in this one against Niagara like they've been able to in their previous two wins against the Purple Eagles. Neither of these two teams playing all that great of ball down the stretch run of the regular season, and neither team is much of a threat to make a run in the MAAC tournament. 
But given what we've seen out of Quinnipiac in their matchups against Niagara this year, we do feel like they have pretty solid value bet getting the one point here uh, as the better value bet against the spread. So that's going to wrap up the matchups I wanted to touch on in today's video. Again, if you're interested in getting our daily free pick, you can head on over to stumpthespread.com by clicking the logo in the top right-hand corner of this video. And I'll also put Stump the Spread down in the video description as well. And if you want more of this pick video content in the future, you can click that subscribe button and any thumbs up on the video are greatly appreciated. So thanks guys for stopping on in and we will see you in the next college basketball pick video. And also for those interested, um, this past month we've been starting to do an NBA play of the day. If you want to go over to our channel, you can check that video out as well for today's action. So thanks for stopping on in and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.